pro friends in today's video i will just be showing you and reviewing i guess doing a demo and review of this plastic uh i don't even know what this thing is called head heat hot head sort of sort of like a hot head but not really it's from shein so it was really cheap so it was like five dollars i think i'm gonna have to pull it up while i'm doing it deep conditioning and i'll give you the price when I'm done, so I'm, let's see what it looks like on the inside. I just opened it, and this is what it looks like on the inside. There's a zipper here where you can detach this, and I guess rinse it out if conditioner gets on it or something like that, it gets dirty. So I like that, because obviously you don't want to put this whole thing in water because it comes with an electrical socket. So I'm going to zip this thing back up, pop it on my head, and now I'm going to look at the switch. It's called switch. It says switch here. <laughs> but I think this is in some type of Asian uh, print, so obviously I can't read that, so I'm going to... Just go ahead and plug it in. Let's see how hot it gets. So also one thing to look at, the prongs. Obviously this was made in China. It's a little different than how ours look here. There's usually a hole that goes through this. But anyways, let's plug it in. I might have to move over because the cord doesn't really re reach that far. There's a red button indicating that it's on. Let's see what it does. It's 528 right now. I think it might take a while to heat up. But good thing I bought my dinner down here. So it is 5.38 right now and I feel like it actually feels like it's doing something on my head. I forget what time. I think I said it was 5.27 before. So it took maybe about 7 minutes for it to actually feel like it was hot because I felt like when I put my hand in here I could feel that it was heating up but I didn't actually feel it on my head until like a few minutes ago. So. It takes a little while for it to get heated up. So it's not quick, like a quick heating device like my hooded dryer. So that is one thing to note. But I think it is doing a pretty good job. My head feels warm. I wouldn't say it's hot, but it is warm. So very good alternative to a hooded dryer. This was, like I said, it was only about six or so dollars from Shein. And of course I ordered it with clothes so shipping was free and all that. I thought it was very interesting and I always see the videos of girls using the hot head which is the, shower, the, the cap that you put in the microwave and let it warm up there and then just put it on your head. I like that one because you are able to walk around with it. This one I'm obviously stuck to my chair and the outlet plug right there. <laughs> so right now it is 545 and it's really dark outside. I, my head feels warm, so I really think that this did a good job. I think the outcome is the same. My hair feels very soft, and you can see those curls. Look at those curls. Yeah, so, I think overall, I do like the product. I still never went to see how much it actually cost me, so let me do that right now. Okay, so I'm looking at my history on Shein.com, and it was only $4.24. So I think this is a really, really good alternative to a hooded dryer. It's very cheap, obviously it's, it's cheap, and it does the job. You don't have to have it, I don't think you have to have it steaming hot. I mean, I usually do put it on high heat, on my hooded dryer but I think it gets the same the same thing gets done when you have just heat and so the only 
really con I have about this. It did take a little while for this to warm up. So if you're pressed for time, this might not be the thing for you. But I feel like after it got warm, you can't really feel, like when I put it on, I can't really feel that my hair is hot, hot. But once I took it off, I feel like the, the air from outside. And then once I actually feel my hair, it feels like it's warm enough to have done the job properly. So I really like this. She did a really good job on this. And I'm actually glad I spent my $4. I At first I was like, um... I'm just gonna get it, try it out, and if it doesn't work, whatever, it's five dollars, so not a big deal. But now that I know that it does work, I'm glad I spent it. It is obviously a lot smaller and easier to store than a hooded dryer. Like my hooded dryer, it takes up a half of my cabinet space in my bathroom, but this, this can be put in a drawer and then you're done. Another thing that obviously you can't really, I mean, it's from China, made in China from China, so this is not in English, but there's really only one switch. You can, oh, actually there's two. I guess this is medium and this is high. So I didn't even know that. <laughs> well, there's that. You could kind of infer that this, the middle one is medium and then the, the top one is high because that's what most heating devices have. Those are the settings that most heating devices have. So, there's that. I love that you can just take this out for an easy wash if you wanna just clean up the inside. But yeah, I really do think this is a good alternative. I also want to try a steamer because I heard those are pretty good too. But I don't know if it makes a difference how the heat is put on your head because I hear some people use a blow dryer to apply heat to their hair while deep conditioning. So I kind of think heat is heat. Let me know what y'all think. If there is a tier to the heating devices that you use while deep conditioning or if it's all the same. Let me know in the comments below if you will be trying this out from Shein. Like I said, it was only $4.24. And that was probably with some like 15, 20% discount because you know they always have discounts. And I also bought it with some other products so I got free shipping. So it was literally only $4.24. And I cannot complain about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the electric steamer cap from Shein. I surprisingly like this and I will be reaching for this again. It was a good alternative so I don't have to like unpack my put a dryer out of the box and do all that. It was very easy setup, but maybe next time I will let it sit in the wall, like plugged in for a little, a few minutes before I actually try to put it on my head. So that's just one thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until my next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.